Hey guys, Danielle again from Against All Grain. I figured while we were on uh, grain-free noodle alternatives, I'd go ahead and show you how to make zucchini squash noodles when um, that spaghetti squash is not in season, like I mentioned. So this contraption here is called a spiral slicer. This one is actually only $25 on Amazon, and it's lasted me for a couple years, and I haven't had any trouble with it yet. So you may as well get the cheap version if you ask me. There's definitely ones out there that are a couple hundred dollars, but. It has suctions on the bottom so you can stick it to your countertop and not worry about it moving and cutting you. There's um, three different discs. My favorite one to use for a spaghetti replacement are these little ones here. And you just slide this in here. This massive um, zucchini came from my friend's garden, so it should work pretty well. You actually do want larger um, zucchini in circumference for these to get those really long continuous noodles. So we're going to put this guy on the edge here. Um, Show you this way. You want this to go right in the center of the zucchini. So we put it just like that. And then this other side clamps in to the end. And then you just start spinning. And the great thing about this machine is that the um, seeds, which hold the most moisture and also don't really work for noodles, end up coming right out the center here, which is great. So you can just pull it out at the end and discard them. Uh, you can also use what's called a julienne slicer. It kind of looks like a um, vegetable peeler, and you would just pull it along the zucchini, but then that way you actually end up getting the seeds. So this machine's really great, and it saves a lot of time. I also like to kind of brace the zucchini with my hand on this side. I find that it keeps it going through evenly, which gets these long, continuous noodles, and helps you not to get those little half moons that you can sometimes get. So just hold it there. Obviously, be careful of your hand because this thing is very sharp, so make sure that while you're bracing it, you know, and, and cut your palm. We tend to do one zucchini per person who I'm feeding. Um, if they're really small or um, even medium sized, sometimes I'll do two per person. They do shrink up quite a bit as, as they lose some of their moisture, so make sure that you realize that this obviously looks like a lot and that looks like that could feed you know two to three people, but that will shrink about half, half size. So there are the seeds. Just throw those away. And at the end there, you will see I started to get some of these shorter pieces, and that's just because the end got a little bit smaller, so it wasn't able to make its way around. But I do have this beautiful cutting board full of very long, continuous zucchini noodles. So what I like to do, because they hold so much moisture, is I put them on a tray lined with paper towels, and then I sort of dehydrate them um, in the oven at 200 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. They'll, they'll lose, like I said, they'll, they'll shrink in size, they'll lose a lot of their moisture, and then at that point I like to cook them in whatever sauce I'm using to continue making them a little bit more tender and mimic um, spaghetti noodles a little bit better. So I'm just going to lay these out on this tray, and then I'll sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt, and we'll pop them in our oven. All right, those are ready to go. Okay, these just came out of the oven. They were in there for about 30 minutes, and as you can see, they are fairly deflated. They look a little bit sad, but that's okay. Deflated's it's a good thing, because that just means that most of the water has drained out onto the paper towels here, so it doesn't end up watering down your overall dish. So they are um, still a little bit crunchy, but now what I'll do is go ahead and cook them in whatever sauce we're having for dinner. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make my um, cashew creamy pesto sauce tonight. So I'll make that and then I'll cook them in it for a little bit until they get nice and tender like a spaghetti noodle. These are zucchini noodles. If you've ever made a zucchini lasagna before, oh, start one more time. I'll start over. Not completely, but I'll start somewhat over. I'll cut this all out, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Oh, if you've ever, oh, do you want to just start? Deflate is a good thing because that means that most of the water has been absorbed by paper towels. I'll start one more time. <laughs> 